Anybody Killer's return to Psychopathic in 2008 started what could easily be the prime era of Psychopathic records. From 2008 to 2012, Psychopathic had the largest roster of artists to date, with releases from these artists all across the board. And that's not even including compilations or releases from the new Psychopathic sublabel, Hatchet House. It was a time that Psychopathic was at its most unfuckwithable stage. This era came towards an end starting in 2012. Boondocks parted ways with Psychopathic mid-2012, followed by the shocking departure of Twisted in late 2012. When Twisted left, it was only a matter of time before Blaze left, which, which was finally announced mid-2013. Though Twisted left a huge void in their absence, Psychopathic carried on releasing Legs Diamond's debut album and the debut of the new psychopathic artist, Big Hoodoo. 2013 also saw the return of Boondocks and Axe Murder Boys, signed to Psychopathic instead of Hatchet House, both artists releasing new albums in 2014. Boondocks's return wouldn't last long. He started out 2015 touring regularly with the newly founded Magic Ninja Entertainment. Touring with Blaze, doing shows with Twisted, made Juggalos ponder of Boondocks' fate with Psychopathic, a suspicion that proved true. Boondocks would depart once again from Psychopathic Records. Now we face a similar suspicion with Anybody Killa, whose Shapeshifter album was slated for release in late 2015. His recent activities with his own label, Native World, and the appearance on Blaze Your Dead Homie's Casket Factory, courtesy of Native World, makes you wonder, will anybody kill or be the next to leave, and what is the fate of Psychopathic Records? My two cents, motherfucker. So what is the fate of Psychopathic Records? Last summer there was a video put out by a ninja and he had basically stated that Psychopathic Records is a shell of its former self and in an aspect I kind of agree with that but in a different way. Now the thing is a lot of people are saying that Psychopathic Records is coming to its end, that it's dying off because artists are leaving and just whatever. Um, I'd have to completely disagree with that. Obviously, Insane Clown Posse is where Psychopathic Records started. That is where Psychopathic Records dies, is with Insane Clown Posse. Now, you know, who knows? JJ may grow up and decide to be a rapper and start and continue to carry on Psychopathic Records. Who knows what the future holds? But that is how I truly believe Psychopathic Records will come to an end. Is It will end with Insane Clown Posse in one way or another. So... Now, the reason why I state that I feel like anybody killer should leave Psychopathic Records is because I am a bigger fan of Insane Clown Posse than any other artist on Psychopathic Records. Now, that being stated, at the last gathering, at 2015's gathering, they, uh, Insane Clown Posse had stated that they are going to be focusing more on ICP records and projects, and they've already pretty much done that so far. They have put out Marvelous Missing Link Lost, Found, The Outtakes, The Fandom. That's four albums already. And now you got a solo project from both Violent J and Shaggy 2 Dope. You got a Behind the Paint audiobook, which is fucking awesome. They're doing a new uh, a new card game. There's all kinds of shit coming out of Psychopathic, and it's more so ICP related than anything else, which is awesome to me because I am a bigger fan of Insane Clown Posse. But because I am a fan of the other artists, I don't want to see them getting neglected. If ICP is focusing on ICP, then that means these guys are getting neglected, and I don't feel like they deserve that. So that's why I say they should leave. And it's not even a hate thing. It's not even fuck psychopathic. It's not fuck ICP. It's a kind of a, it's time for them to leave the nest and flourish on their own. I mean, Twisted and Blaze are doing great. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with where they're going. I feel like anybody killer could do very well on his own with Native World Inc. He's already got that going good, pushing other artists. He just needs to take the wheel and steer that ship. And I feel like he would do great. I also feel like Big Hoodoo would be a great Native World Inc. artist as well. So when I say that these artists should leave Psychopathic, it's not hate at all. It's just me saying that I don't want to see them getting neglected if ICP, if Psychopathic is focusing more on ICP, because that is ultimately what I would love to see, but not at the cost of the artists that I do love that have come through the, psych, the, through the hatchet. So there you guys go. That is the fate of Psychopathic through my eyes. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you agree, disagree, just tell me your thoughts and opinions. And above all, thanks for watching.